welcome back to mlt world today in this video i will share you how to make dilution 1 is to 50 in laboratory last video i have shown you 1 is to 20 dilution but in this video we will learn about 1 is to 50 dilution for example if any value is coming very high and machine cannot show you exact value it is coming for example more than 1500 but it is how much more than 1500 that time we will dilute the sample so we will start for 1 is to 50 dilution we need one part of serum or whole blood and 49 parts of reagent distilled water normal saline whatever the solution you are going to dilute so now we will see the examples if for example our serum is 10 microliter or we have we need to use only 10 microliter serum then we will write like that one part and then 49 part and we will multiply both with same value and same unit 10 microliter 10 microliter so when one part will multiply with 10 microliter the answer will be 10 microliter so it means we need serum or sample 10 microliter and how much reagent we need 49 multiplied by 10 microliter it will be 490 microliter it means we need 490 microliter reagent or the solution in which we are going to dilute the sample sometime diluting solutions coming with the kit also now for example if our sample is little more in quantity we have for example 20 microliter that time same we will write you write on one side one part of serum and other side you write 49 parts of reagent and then multiply with both with same value and unit 20 microliter and 20 microliter so now it means the serum we will use for dilution is 20 microliter and reagent we will use to dilute that serum it will be 990 micro sorry 980 microliter so in 980 microliter we will add 20 microliter serum then our dilution will be 1 is to 50 dilution now here there are two important points the, you have to focus on the number and the unit for example here we use 10 microliter and 20 microliter in our examples so that microliter and ml or ml it should be same for reagent and for serum then only our dilution and our pipetting is correct pipetting and then second thing is how much we will use the serum or our like sample 10 microliter 20 or 30 whatever we will use but our final result we will multiply with the 50 because 50 is the dilution factor so our result should be multiplied by 50 then only we will get the final result so this is the way in and this by these examples you understand that how to dilute the sample by using 1 is to 50 dilution but at the end also again i will remind you that whatever you will use the uh, say how much quantity you will use for serum and reagent but your final result should be multiplied with the 50 with these examples you understand for if now you can easily make any dilution if you have to make 1 is to 50 dilution and you can check your quantity of reagent and you can check your the quantity of sample and according to that you can use the uh, quantity like if 10 microliter you can use 20 microliter even 30 40 how much you want to use but your final result should be multiplied with 50.